Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're back on the 10-foot fish tank. I've been asked this question countless times over the years. What do I feed the fish and does it cost a fortune? I've been asked once again this morning, I've got another email asking what I feed the fish. So I figured the equipment's already set up. I have just been filming something else for the YouTube channel. So I figured I'll bring you guys along. It's a very quick video showing you what I feed them, how I feed them, and hopefully answer some of your guys' questions and hopefully it may help you guys save some money in the future. Stay tuned. When I first got into this hobby, dry food, frozen food, and algae is what I used to feed my fish. For many years, I was on the New Era brand of fish food. Perfectly fine, never had a problem with the water. I only turned to this brand because basically cost. It's gram for gram, it's cheaper. Water quality is not decreased. The fish seem to love it. Everything in the tank eats this without a problem. This dry seaweed, I get this from eBay. This is super cheap. I think it's about four pounds for a hundred sheets and it lasts for months. After I feed the fish, I drop one sheet in the top of the tank and that keeps the tongues happy. Don't just feed them flay food. In fact, it's very rare I feed them this. If I had to put how many days of the week I feed them dry flake food, I'll probably say two. Basically, my fish live on homemade, do it yourself basically frozen food. So when I say frozen food, I'm talking about this stuff here. And this is what a full sheet looks like. There's a lot of prawns, a lot of clams. There's even some squid. There is a lot in this little packet. I will make a video on how I make my homemade DIY frozen food for the marine fish in a future video because this is my last one. So once every six months, I will go out and basically pick up all the frozen ingredients, blend them, mix them, put them in the packets, freeze them, and then feed them to the fish. So every morning, when I wake up, I basically go into the freezer, snap off a piece of frozen food, about this size, pop it into the container, head over to the fish tank, and quite simply, scoop up some aquarium water. This is obviously salt water and leave that for about 10, 15 minutes. This is a point of the day where I sit down, have my breakfast, have my coffee. I would normally do this over the tank itself, but basically put the lid on and shake. And that will mix up the fish food and that is basically ready to feed the fish. Walk back to the tank, pour some food in and let the fish eat it. And that is basically it. And as you can see, the fish love it. They normally go crazy for the food, but they've already been fed this morning, so they're probably not even that hungry. But as you can see, they'll still eat it. There's a couple of gobies on this side of the tank. We've got this guy down here who never seemed to get much food. So I do like to put just a bit on this side some days just to make sure they're still getting fed. And that is basically all I do to feed the fish. People seem to think it's quite a big task in keeping these fed and healthy, but it really isn't. So some days, if I want to make up a larger batch, I will take a larger chunk, obviously, two or three days worth of food. Basically just bend and snap it, and then place this into the container. Use RO water. Obviously the marine water is full of life. And if you leave that for a couple of days without any aeration, it'll go stagnant, it'll go bad, it'll stink. So using RO water, which is nice, pure, clean water, you can easily get two to three days worth of food. Leave it in the fridge. When you want to feed the fish, put it out the fridge, pour in, put it back in the fridge, and that is it. I get my shoes on, my coat on, pick up my work gear, and before heading out to go to work, grab a sheet of algae, lift the lid, drop the algae in, the tangs will pull it that, they'll pull it down. There's quite a few tangs in this tank. That will last a few minutes and it'll be gone and the tangs will be fed and happy. Using this method, 
it literally takes minutes every day to feed the fish and that is it I do buy this from Amazon. I'll leave a link for this in the description. The price changes all the time. The dry food is roughly, it can be anywhere from 12, 13 pounds up to about 16, 17. It's constantly going up and down price. But I tend to buy this every, I would say, two to four month. Quite easily 12 weeks I can usually get out of one tub of food. Probably talking, let's just call that four pounds per month for dry food. I usually get about the same two to three month probably out of a pack of seaweed sheets so you're probably talking two to three pounds a month for these also so realistically you're probably talking six to eight pounds per month for seaweed and dry food and that is it this stuff the frozen food man a few years ago i was going to my local pet store and i was easily spending 20 to 30 pounds per month on frozen food I would then defrost the food, sieve it, get rid of all that nasty water. I basically went out and bought a, basically an ice cube tray, but quite a large ice cube tray. One cube kind of worked out just enough to feed the system every day. The frozen food I pick up from two or three different stores normally, and it literally comes to about 12, 13 pounds, and I get a good six month out of that food. So it's only costing maybe two, three pounds per month max for frozen food. So I've been feeding my fish like this for two, three, maybe even four years, and they've thrived. They're very healthy, they're very fat, they're chunky, healthy fish, and that's all really you can ask for. If I ever notice the fish are starting to not eat the food, or if they're starting to lose weight, I might change up my techniques, but I've been doing this for years, and the fish are very healthy, very fat and happy. As you can see, there is a powder blue, nice and chunky, perfect this is the video I've just been filming this morning this is me trying to grow possibly a decade old brine shrimp that video will be on YouTube shortly if you are subscribed to the channel you would have seen that I uploaded a video a few days ago on this bubble Magnus curve 7 skimmer as you can see it's skimming perfectly fine nice and healthy I just finished up the video came into the living room fired up Red Dead Redemption and once again got asked the question what do I feed my fish? How much does it cost? I figured I'll do a video on it, so if anyone asks again, I can just post them a link. So I think I'm gonna call this video here, guys. Thank you for watching. Hopefully it's answered some of your guys' questions. Like always, please like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you in the next one.